Not very strong, but we have one. That's why compass. Is, who, anybody remember what a compass is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Old, old right. school. Old school. Old school. Uh, we have a magnetic field, and when dangerous charged particles come from the sun, we call it the solar wind. Mm -hmm. They see Earth's magnetic field, and then they channel themselves away and funnel in at the poles, and they collide with our atmosphere and render it a glow, wow. causing the aurora. Mm -hmm. So when we see the aurora. That's the atmosphere and our magnetic field shielding us from harmful radiation. Wow. Okay. So if we lose our magnetic field, the radiation just comes straight in wherever it hits. Mm. Mars, we may have once had a magnetic field. It does not any longer. Mm. So if you pitch tent, you're susceptible to this flux of high energy particles. So she was uh, correct to wonder, Will we just have underground colonies? Yeah. All right. And then I wonder, well, then what the hell is the point of being on Mars? <laughs> well, yes. we'll live underground. You we'll live be, underground here. We'll be uh, basically <laughs> the ants of Mars. <laughs> <laughs> the worms, you know, whatever. You know, like, what's the point of that? Yeah. Uh, just consider that almost anything will protect you from those particles. Mm. Like the roof of a house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you, you could just, ha the shielding doesn't have to be elaborate. Mm -hmm. It just has to have some kind of shielding. And there's a whole branch of NASA. Uh, well, there's a branch that studies the sun and a subdivision of it that specializes in space weather. We Ooh. call it space weather, Ooh. which is when is the solar wind coming? Because it correlates with explosions on the sun. Yeah. It's not just at any time. Yeah. So as the sun goes through cycles, it goes through uh, intense periods and then it, a quiescent, it's an 11-year cycle. So as it pumps up, we get more warnings about explosions on the sun. And as it drifts off, we have, there's fewer. And we know when a pulse of these particles is gonna hit us, because it takes time to get from the sun to, to Earth or mm -hmm. to Mars. Mm -hmm. So we just have a, a warning sign. Yeah. Is that any different from saying thunderstorms this afternoon? Yeah, four a like tornado a, warning. Tornado warning, bring a umbrella, but this would be a special solar wind umbrella. Right, you know? right. And so I don't see it as an impossible thing to overcome. That is cool. And, and maybe you create some local magnetic field <sighs> and direct the particles off to the north and south of you, your, your little city in a bubble. Whatever. I mean, they could be engineers figure this stuff out. I love this. I, I'm not worried about it. I mean, you know, that, that is a wonderful thing to say about the magnetic field. It's protecting us. It's protecting us. It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. You know, but this is another thing I got to add on to this question. 